and welcome back to Happy Go London's. This one um, is still with prep for the AT, hiking and all of that, but it's going to be a little bit different um, because we are going to be trying to hike a little bit different um, in that we are trying to limit our single-use plastic usage. <laughs> um, through hiking is very plastic heavy um, in like Ziploc bags and smart water bottles and things like that. And we are trying to limit our plastic, specifically single use plastic um, intake on the trail. And so yeah, I'm going to show you a few of the ways that we're going to be doing that. So let's get into it. First, which you've already seen in another video, we have the Stasher um, cook pouches to be cooking food in. Now, we do already have some food meals that um, have already been purchased before I decided on this, you know, uh, do it sustainably type of deal um, that are the like mountain house backpacker meals or um, things like that but we did learn about TerraCycle so we will be doing TerraCycle um, and sending those off to be properly recycled um, which you don't have to clean them first you don't have to clean them first um, but you send them off and they recycle them properly for you we will make sure and link to TerraCycle in the description there they do this for a ton of different stuff to properly dispose of waste um, so yeah we will link to that and you can read all about it yourself but we will have these for um, the rest of our meals to make together and share um, or not share but you know you know what I'm saying yeah okay along with that we have these which like this seems a little bit insane <laughs> but this is for two people um this pile is brady's um which some like this one are still packaged again brand is stasher they are plastic free um and this company also gives one percent to the planet um when you buy from them just throwing that out there uh, no, I am not sponsored. They have no idea. No idea. I am making this video. Not a clue. Um, I will make sure and tag to them. I'm just sharing how we're doing this different. So yeah, we have these to use as um, in place of Ziplocs, essentially to collect food in whatever that is that we buy at the store, buy in bulk, divide out in our bags to carry on trail to snacks, vitamins, vitamins, um, medicine, I mean, any those kinds of things. Um, now, we do currently have Ziploc bags. Um, I don't know how long we've had them now. And if there are any of those left over when we sell the house and everything else, then we will put some things in those Ziploc bags to bring. Um, but we are not going to be purchasing any more um, for the trail at this point. So this is what we plan to use in place of Ziploc bags to put in food, snacks, that sort of thing. We haven't quite figured out yet what we're going to do as far as um, a container for other things that shouldn't get wet, like our repair kits and things like that, medical kits. Um, we might use some... Uh, reusable uh, I'm blanking like the Sea of Summit bags we might use something like that but if you have any suggestions do let us know in the comments um, I will link to all of the weights for these items um, in the description because there are a, a bunch like you know each one of these three items weighs a different amount um, and that's going to be kind of hard to show on screen so I will link to that in the description so you can check out those weights 
Again, we're not doing this ultra light. How to do it ultra light and be sustainable, I don't know. Um, I don't have the answers for that. This is um, a journey that is going to take a while, changing everything over to being sustainable and, and eliminating single use plastic. It's not something you do overnight. Um, so I don't have all the answers. I'm not perfect, I don't know. <laughs> but this is what we are doing to better it. Um, and so yeah, we're carrying these. These are Brady's. These are mine. We have five sandwich sized bags and then one um, snack sized for each of us. Um, I was thinking probably like vitamins in the snack size um, just because I do want to try and stay healthy um, even though the trail necessarily you just need <laughs> carbs <laughs> basically so that way you have enough um, in your system to burn but um, doing probiotics and multivitamins and things like that in these. So yeah, here are these options. And then also we have these, which are our reusable rubbish bins um, to collect our trash and rubbish in these. Okay, so they're technically a wet bag. They were intended for like going to the beach and throwing your wet swimsuit in so it doesn't soak your clothes in your suitcase. Or um, if you use reusable diapers and you're out and about, this can work as a nappy bag. Um, things like that. There is a waterproof lining on the inside. Now, I do think I am going to seam seal these before we go because they're not seam sealed, but I do think I plan on doing that before we go. Um, just because. So yeah, these are our reusable rubbish bins. Um, now I do have a little note here. Um, I bought these on Etsy on a, sh a shop called Berry Bug Shop. She's tons of them. They're, she's got double walled ones, single walled ones, tons of different size options. Um, don't worry, I'll make sure and link to her Etsy shop on the description. Again, none of this is sponsored, none of this is paid for or gifted. We bought these items. I am just sharing what we're doing to try and show that you can through hike or you can hike and camp more responsibly and do it more um, sustainably as well. So yeah, these bags, I just wanted to quickly read um, that they are an Eco PUL, polyurethane laminate fabric. Um, so that is what is in here. The, it's waterproof, breathe, breathable, food safe, lead free. I don't know how to say this other word free, vegan. Um, they are CPSIA compliant and made in the USA. She's out of Indiana, um, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry if I am wrong about that. So yeah, um, they are not watertight, but they are waterproof. I do plan to seal the, seal the seams, which is really hard to say, to help make them more water, not watertight, but just a bit more um, waterproof, I guess. So yeah, these are going to be our reusable rose bins. I'm guessing you can probably guess which one's mine. Um, although I love green and so Brady made it a little bit hard because he picked green. But these are those bags and I will link to all of that stuff in the description as well. Also, um, what I don't have, which I definitely forgot about, um, but we are not going to be doing the smart water bottle, Gatorade bottle thing. Um, we do have the knock, see knock? Canock. Two, um, two liter bladders to hook onto our Sawyer squeeze to collect dirty water in and squeeze from there into our drinking bottles or our um, pot for cooking, whatever it may be. But um, we are going to be getting the, um, they're like the sport Gatorade bottles, you know, when you watch any sport. They're like the big green 32 ounce water bottles. Um, but they have the pop top so we can use that to back flush our Sawyer squeeze with it. And they're super lightweight. I will put that weight up here. Um, and so yeah, we're going to use that as our like smart water bottle replacement. 
Um, and then we also are looking at doing the, um, I believe it's Hydra Pack on REI, which I will link to in the description, don't worry. And um, I'll put the up here. So they can hold a bit warmer, not boiling, they can't hold boiling, but they can hold warmer water. Um, so thinking about using that, probably getting rid of the straw feature though, that because they have like a straw or no straw built-in kind of feature, getting rid of the straw feature and using those as uh, the bottle that we mix drinks in or if I drink my coffee really slow, I can dump my coffee into it so we can set out in the mornings, um, mixing in um, electrolyte mixes, all kinds of things like that into that option. Um, and again, I will link the weight. I think we're looking at a smaller size for that rather than the 32 ounce um, of the bigger one. And this one you can like roll it up and pack it really small um, if you aren't using it um, or you don't want to use it or something like that. So we do plan to get those options. Now, I'm gonna bore you with a couple of facts because I'm sure all of you are thinking, um, smart water bottles are so easy and yeah, people reuse them. It isn't healthy to reuse them. But besides that, um, I don't really want to contribute to the water bottle problem. So just going to read, this is from plasticoceans.org. A couple of facts for you really quick to throw it out there for you. You can quit watching if you'd like, but just think about it. Um, according to the Container Recycling Institute, 100.7 billion plastic beverage bottles were sold in the U.S. in 2014. Or, this is shocking, that is 315 bottles per person. 57% of those units were plastic water bottles, 57.3 billion sold in 2014. This is up from the 3.8 billion plastic water bottles sold in 96, 1996, which is the earliest available data. Um, the process of producing bottled water requires about six times as much water as you actually find per bottle. And 14% of all litter comes from beverage containers. When caps and labels are considered, the number is much higher. So 14% of litter comes from beverage containers alone. And that does not include the cap or the label. Um, so yeah, just something to think about. It's sad when you really start digging into it and I am just one person, Brady and I are just two people, and we know that it's going to take a long time, but we are going to do our best to hike sustainably, um, try and limit our single-use plastic, or find proper ways of disposing of it um, as best we can. We are not perfect. We are still learning. If you have suggestions, please leave a comment, ways that we can um, do it even more su sustainably or you know, suggestions on how we can do that better, let us know um, in the comments because we'd love to hear that. But yeah, so this is what we're going to try and do. And I know that it is probably going to be super frowned upon, especially by the ultralighters, but we're not doing it ultralight. Um, that was not our plan and um, I would like to do it more sustainably because I would like the planet to be around and not just be dead <laughs> and here but dead. Um, so yeah, that is what we're looking at for kind of our sustainable approach to things. Um, I mainly in eliminating plastic. I'm also trying to buy from brands that um, use recycled goods or will last and not have to be replaced a whole bunch and repurchased, but I, I'm not perfect and you just have to start somewhere. So this, this is what we are doing, <laughs> starting somewhere. Um, and I will link to all of them as well, but yeah. That is just another little taste of prep for hiking the Appalachian Trail in 2020.
cannot wait can't wait for you to join us on that journey and see you out there yeah um that is all for this video see you next time bye